Next, we have two more special types. So you see, in India and Gulf, dry uh, wet sprinkler system. In Western countries, dry sprinkler system. This too commonly used. But apart from this, we have two more special type. One is a pre-action, and second is a deluxe sprinkler system. Hmm. So pre-action, the name will give you idea. Pre-action means before actual action, there is a pre-action. Hmm. Pre-action for what? Where there is a chance the sprinkler can damage accidentally. Like in a workshop, suppose in workshop, or in the in in a particular area where there is a chance. For example, in a workshop, because of the movement of the equipments or say pipes or something, there is a chance the sprinkler may damage accidentally, not because of detection. Accidentally, because of touching a pipe or some some device, some instrument, etc. So you know this in wet sprinkler system or in dry sprinkler system in both. Whenever sprinkler break, in wet sprinkler system directly start the supply of water. In dry sprinkler system delay, but uh, delay max 60 second, but again supply of water and the alarm will activate and all. So that will create a lot of disturbance and people get panic in case if the sprinkler damage accidentally in case of wet or dry. Okay. So in that area where there is a chance the sprinkler can damage accidentally, we are using pre-action system. Hmm. And remember, pre-action is also a type of dry sprinkler system. You can write in bracket type of dry sprinkler system. This pre-action also a type of dry sprinkler system. So now, if you talk about this pre-action system uh, here, so as I said, pre-action also a type of dry sprinkler system. Hmm. So here, uh, say upright sprinkler, it can be pendant, whatever. So this is circuit one. This I am considering circuit one. And this I am considering circuit two, circuit two with the heat detectors. Okay, this is heat detector, and circuit one with the sprinkler, with the no, with the sprinkler with the with the sprinkler bulb, not open type, normal sprinkler, upright or pendant. So what happened? For example, if the sprinkler damage accidentally, hmm. So what happened? It's a it's a dry system, na? Hmm. So only the compressed gas will release, and release of compressed gas will indicate only the initial alarm. Okay, so initial alarm. So you'll find two alarm. Say first initial alarm. Initial alarm will activate, indicating that that the sprinkler damage accidentally, so that maintenance people can replace this. But the the water will not supply. The valve will not open. The system will not activate. Okay, this is the pre-action. If the if the sprinkler damage accidentally, only the compressed gas, the compressed air will release, and an initial alarm, small alarm for maintenance point of view, maintenance people it will activate. This is a pre-action. That's it. But then when the when uh, when the water will supply, water will supply only when the heat detector, which is which is installed parallelly with the sprinkler, will sense the heat. And heat detector will sense the heat. Generally, eight to means will set the temperature, uh, this detection temperature of heat detector. Generally, eight to ten degrees less than the sprinkler. Suppose sprinkler uh, thermal rating say seventy degree centigrade. This is for sprinkler. For heat detector, say sixty or sixty-two means eight to ten. So what happens if the if actual fire occurs? What happens somewhere here? You see, along with the sprinkler, you'll find the heat detector circuit also. Okay. And and when actual uh, if the heat uh, if the fire actually if the actually fear um, is occur in a particular location before breaking this uh, sprinkler bulb the heat detector will sense the heat because this is at 60 degree centigrade now and give the signal to this fire control panel and the fire control panel will activate the main alarm hmm, and oh, switch on the valve and after Increasing 10 degrees centigrade, the sprinkler bulb will break. So when the bulb break, first release of gas, then the valve is already open. The control system is active. And it will open the pump and suck the water from the tank and supply on the affected area. Okay. So this is like a dry system only. Only the thing is with a pre-action to avoid the damage of that area or uh, or uh, uh, to avoid the unnecessary uh, issues or uh, the damage of water. And uh, uh, for a particular location, where the sprinkler can damage accidentally. That's it.
got the idea online about the pre action this concept this i'm explaining the concept in detail how to design and all this we have a topic at this level just the concept how this pre action system works okay sir uh, sir one question is that yes. uh, sir in uh, in a uh, dry system only mm -hmm. uh, there is you have written one a this alarm will not present i think hello no in dry sprinkler there is no initial alarm directly okay. when the sprinkler break first release of compressed air then the supply of water and the main alarm will activate okay okay mm -hmm. only in pre action we have initial alarm and the water will not supply water will supply only when the heat detector sends the heat okay 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 uh next we have one more you see what explain the same theory you can find you can read uh, after class also 